Good evening, basketball fans. Welcome to the point in Cincinnati, Ohio, where Green Hills and Forest Park meet on the campus of a school sharing a name with a beautiful park roughly two miles down the road. I am, of course, talking about Winton Woods High School. Tonight, the Warriors of Winton Woods welcome the Anderson High basketball team to these friendly confines to celebrate cheerleader senior night and for an Eastern Cincinnati Conference matchup. My name is Shane Coleman, joined by my broadcast partner, Ian Liddell. And Ian, what should we be expecting in this ECC contest tonight? Uh, actually, I believe this is the second matchup because I believe they played back in December. This is actually this is actually the first time, or the second time, I'm sorry, the second time that Winton Woods has played a game in the year 2021. Okay, I think I might have had my mic in a mo. But anyway, what I was talking about tonight is we've got the team of Winton Woods who has only played eight games so far, and because of COVID, has had a lot of disruptions while played about half half the games of the rest of the teams in the conference. Uh, I think Shane was saying they played one game so far this year, so it will be kind of interesting to see what we're going to see from Winwoods. What I could tell with their record, they had a couple of tight games and a couple of losses, so even though they are 1-8, and eight, they've been in most of their games, so it'll be interesting to see what we what we see. Yeah, and Winton Woods, looking at this roster we were given by the staff, Winton Woods has no seniors dressed tonight, so this is a very youthful Warriors team. All right, folks, strap yourselves in, pull up a chair, get a drink, grab a taco here on Taco Tuesday. We are underway at Winton Woods. <laughs> Warriors in the white, Anderson in the dark gray, and Anderson comes down with the ball first. Anderson going to work it around. Puts up a three, and he hits one early, and that is a very quick 3 nothing lead for Anderson. That's number three, Caden Stevens bringing the ball down for the Warriors. The floater, oh, what nice a runner. shot by Stevens. Pretty shot. Anderson going to take it right back down the court as well. Anderson going to work it around. It's number 10, Joey Cron. Winton Woods with that 2-3 defense. Nice defense there by the Warriors. Loose ball. Anderson comes down with it, and it's turned over. Winton Woods has got it, and he turns it right back over. That was number 23, Alou Alou, that turned it over for the Warriors. Anderson right back with it. Gets it over to number one, Billy Knott. Three-point attempt. Good. Joey Cron hits another one for Anderson. I think it shouldn't take them too long to spot up and not give them that three. They give them pretty much uncontested threes so yeah, far. Yeah, Anderson deadly from three early here. Yeah. Winton Woods going to work it around. Maybe he hadn't studied the full scouting report. Now we have a whistle, and that's going to be a turnover at the Anderson ball. And Witten Woods showing that youth, that uh, inexperience there. Yep. Not going to take it down because we have another look at that three-pointer from Cron. He, he pretty much could tie his shoelaces on that one. Yeah, Winton Woods with that 2-3. Uh, and again. another deep three, but that one does not fall. Rebound by Anderson, number four, Josh Overbeek. And not nails three. one. And just like that, Anderson with nine quick points. This team is deadly from three-point range early. That's number three, Caden Stevens again. Puts up a shot, no good. Alou Alou couldn't come down with it. He stepped out of bounds. Not tried to save it, just couldn't do so, and that's going to stay Warrior ball as we get another look at Billy Knott nailing a three, and again, again he could. Winton Woods just letting him have that easy three. Doubling down and leaving the three wide open. Oh, tough defense wow. there by Knott, and that's going to be off Winton Woods, and that's going to be Anderson ball. If they don't come out and cover the three, they're going to shoot them out of the gym. We have our first substitution of the game. That is number 11, Tariq Dixon, coming in for the Warriors for number 23, Alou Alou. Billy not going to work it for the Anderson basketball team. Works it down low. Kicks it back. Oh, and it's turned over. 
Here come the Warriors on the rush. They have numbers. Nice spin and transition. Nice spin. Oh, oh, what a shot. <laughs> Jermaine Matthews Jr. putting some. Em oh, oh, almost, almost got him steal. one there. Wide open again. Man. This is a jump shooting team. Yeah, it's Austin Coldiron there for Anderson. He is actually the top scorer for this team. He's number six in the Eastern Cincinnati Conference with 12.6 points per game. So we'll be seeing a lot of Austin Coldiron tonight. Pulls up with a jumper, no good off the front of the iron. Rebound, Anderson ball, that's number 33. Jake Parrish with it. Anderson with another deep three and another oh. one. Joey Kron is on fire to start this game for Anderson. Goodness gracious, an early 10 point lead as we get another look at the nice little spin, nice spin move off. there by Matthews. And then Anderson, another wide open shot. That's number yeah. five, Austin Coldiron. And then another deep three by Joey Cron. Really not coming out and contesting those threes at all. That no. time he jumped out a little late, but still he. Wenton Woods is almost just giving them the three-pointer tonight, and that is not going to be a recipe for success if they keep doing that. No, no. So you get a look at the Anderson huddle there. Yeah, that zone defense is not working. No, not tonight it's not. That's how they're playing zone. They might want to consider switching to man-to-man. -man. So you get a look at the Wenton Woods huddle there. Again, you got to take into effect that Wooden Woods, is, Anderson's played twice as many games as Wooden Woods. Yeah, and looking at these rosters that we were provided before the game, Wenton Woods has no seniors dressed tonight, whereas Anderson's entire team is juniors and seniors. So Anderson definitely has the edge in terms of seniority here. Yep. So Wenton Woods going to take over here down 10 early. They get it in and immediately are trapped, but they break it. He had him. He didn't. He basically had 11 under the basket if he had made the pass. Quentin Woods going to slow things down, trying to set up an offense. It's number one, Jermaine Matthews Jr. going to run the offense. Kicks it over to Caden Stevens. They're matching Gets up. Gets it down to the big fell, Demarion Stone. No good. And that's going to go out of bounds. Back to Wynn Woods. Number 10, Derek Lawson going to inbound the ball for the Warriors. He's got Jake Parrish right in his face. Gets it down. Oh, oh, Stone can't come down with it. And that's going to be Anderson ball. And here comes Knott going to push it up for Anderson. That was a good pass on the post. He just couldn't handle it. And we have a foul. First team foul. That's going to be a foul. Number 11, Tariq Dixon for Winton Woods. And there's another look at it. Oh, yeah. Reaches all down in there. Not, and Demarion shooting, Stone though. comes over and slaps him in the face. Off the leg, back to Wooden, back to Anderson. Folks watching at home, I apologize in advance if we're a little slow on getting who the players are because we're up high tonight, so a little difficult to see the numbers sometimes. <laughs> so just be patient with us, folks. We apologize. Anderson wide open down low. That's number five, Austin Cold Iron again. Literally nobody around him. There didn't. No, they're running that zone defense and it is not working tonight. No. But what a move by Jermaine Matthews Jr. He cuts that lead back down to 10 for the Warriors. Anderson going to work it again. Content to work that perimeter. They've been deadly out there so far. Back to not. Kicks it back over. Back to Cold Iron. Back to Knott. Not working one on one here. Gets it back down. A pop, a little pop shot, no good. Wenton Woods comes out the rebound and trips. Slip. Little slip there. Holds on to the ball though. And here comes Matthews Jr. again. He's gonna slow the pace down for Wenton Woods. He's got two screens there. Doesn't need either one though. Kicks it over to. Dixon, Dixon for three, no good. Big rebound Solid there by Wynton Woods. That's EJ Short. He kept his pivot, it back but over to Dixon, no good. And Stone Anna. comes down with it, no good. 
Another shot for Wenton Woods, no good. All over Cole the back. Holland comes down with it, struggle for the ball. Anderson comes away with it. Three shots, unfortunately, no finishes. Man, you gotta give Wenton Woods credit with the offensive rebounds, but you gotta make them count. Not pulls up, he's gonna drive. Gets it down low, what a move, but no good. And we have a stoppage here, and I believe this is gonna be Wenton Woods' ball. They're gonna get cold iron for that foul, so that's gonna be Warrior ball. Again, they pretty much got it inside. He missed the shot, but it wasn't very contested. Yeah, not a whole lot of defense being played early by Wenton Woods. A little yeah. bit of a struggle so far as Alou Alou comes back in for Damari and Stone. Here comes Wenton Woods on the break. That's Matthews, a floater, good. Nice shot, that's that's his third basket, I believe. And Matthews is to the eight. lane. Anderson gonna work it around, they double team. And again, another three point attempt is no good. Rebounded by Anderson. Kicked it back out, another three. And Missed. that doesn't fall and we have a stoppage. That's gonna be Wenton Woods ball. And we've got Parrish for the push off there for Anderson. So that's gonna be Wenton Woods ball. Well, Anderson has cooled off a little bit Getting a little bit of contesting on the outside shots. Yeah, Wenton Woods, they've got to put a stop to that three-point shooting because it has been deadly for Anderson so far. Wenton Woods working it around. He kicks it back out. They want to get to the rim. Oh, what a move. Oh, No finish. good. Anderson comes down with it. That's Overbeek. And Billy not going to bring it up. Seems like if Wenton Woods wants to get to the rim, they can get there. He's got to knock down the shots when they do. Nice little floater and an easy bucket there for Cold Iron. He's Again, showing not. why he's the top in the conference there, number six in the conference. He's already got a yeah. handful of baskets. Again, uncontested though. And that's another missed the layup. Wenton Woods comes down with it, puts it up. It is good. Nice. And that is EJ Short with the bucket for the Warriors. Anderson going to slow the pace back down here. That's not going to bring it up. Wenton Woods going to go aggressive on defense and they open. And that's going to stay Anderson ball. Although Coach Andre Tate for Wenton Woods, he wanted that to be Wenton Woods ball. If the official said no, sir. The one thing Wenton Woods is doing so far is they are winning the offensive glass. As we take another look at that shot from Cold Iron, and then EJ Short with a bucket. Oh, oh got a look into his hands. Had a fast break for Wenton Woods, but went right through the hands of Dixon. I think he was looking to finish it before he caught it. Yeah, it's one of those things that's, you gotta finish. Yeah, the pass was there, just went right through the hands. So we're back to live action now. Anderson still gonna look, there's not, no good. And that's gonna be short coming down with the rebound for Wenton Woods. Anderson right there though. And Wenton Woods gonna slow it down a little bit. You know, if Wenton Woods was making the, the layups that they missed, they'd be right there. Yeah, this is, if they're making the shots, it's a competitive game right now. So we're yeah. under a minute to go in the first in a very fast first quarter. Matthew's going to call the offense. He's trying to get a screen set up for himself. He's got one. Alou is there. He's going to drive. Kicks it out the short. It is up. It is no good. Over and the that's going to be over the back on number 23, Alou Alou for Wenton Woods. Yeah, Wooden Woods has not been able to knock down any threes so far, while Anderson has, what, maybe five threes? Yeah, Wooden Wint Woods has been a little cold. As we get another look there, yeah, Alou Alou goes right over the back. <laughs> number 30, Brady Foley comes in for Anderson. And number zero, Christian Ingram Z Jr. comes in for Wooden Woods. Just under 25 seconds to go in a very fast first quarter of action. Oh, what a play by Wenton Woods, but that's going to go out of bounds and stay with Anderson. Wenton Woods may consider pressing in the backcourt just like they're doing now. Yeah, they almost came away with one there. I believe that was Dixon that got a hand on that ball. They break there you the go. inbound. Good oh, defense. and a turnover, and that's short. And he loses it. Ingram right there, though. Do you have to hold it for one here or not? Looks like they're uh, taking it back out. Defending hard though. He's got Cron right on be, him and we got a It's gotta be a foul. Him. Yeah, Cron with the aggressive defense there. Yep. Foul. <laughs> 
two new players coming back into the game for Linton Woods. It's going to be number three, Caden Stevens, coming back in. Couldn't see who the other player that came in was there for Linton Woods. You've only got one guy coming with the ball. Matthew's going to look for one shot here with five seconds to go. He's going to drive. Pulls up for three. Good! Oh, big three. And that will do it for the first quarter. Linton Woods the trails 18-12, but Ian, they are still right in this ballgame after one quarter. That's a big three. I think Coach would be happy only being down five with how it's as hot as Anderson started, and they finally knocked down a three. Yeah, and Winton Woods, they definitely showed they had a little bit of rust as we take another look at that three that just gets inside the buzzer. His right toe was behind the three-point line, so that was a good switch. They originally called that a two and switched it to a three. So take a look here, and as Joey Kronz is going off for three-point in the first quarter. They have not changed it. Oh, they just did. Just changed it to three on the scoreboard. This is now a five-point game as we are getting ready to start the second. And man, we just... How many threes did Joey Cron hit in the first quarter? Yeah. Man, you can't leave that young man open. They started addressing it a little bit after the beginning. Yeah. I mean, you figure Winton Woods, they've played one game in the entire year of 2021, so they've got to have a lot of rust that they got to kick off. And it was obvious there in the first right. couple of minutes. Yeah, we were initially supposed to have a JV and a varsity game tonight, but because there wasn't enough players to suit for Win Woods, Due to COVID, there was no JV game, and they moved the varsity game up to 6 o'clock. So hopefully our mass audience didn't, isn't turning in a little bit too late with the 6 o'clock time. They can always watch it on replay, though, right? Yeah, I'm hoping. Since this game will be available on YouTube anytime after it gets posted, yep. which should be sometime tomorrow. And also check with your cable providers to see our, what channel this will be on for Waycross for you here in the next few days. Probably on Cincinnati Bell, I think it's in the 800s somewhere. It's starting to, I was about to say, Ian Davis started the clock and they're just kind of letting it go. Okay, we just, it's 850 on Cincinnati Bell and 979 on Spectrum. All right, so here we go. Now we're starting the second quarter after the clock malfunction there. So that's going to be Matthews for Witten Woods going to work the ball. Kicks it out. Witten Woods is going to try the perimeter here, it looks like. They're not really making an attempt to push it in. Working the perimeter, gets it down. It's number gets it down to a number 23, Alou Alou. He's got a man right in his face, and he gets a block. That's going to hit one of the Anderson players on the foot and stay Winton Woods' ball. Anderson so far has done a better job defending on the zone defense than Winton Woods is. Both teams have height, but I'm noticing Anderson's a little bit more physically bigger. And that's going to be... Wasn't touched, so that's legal. Actually, if he even been tipped, I think it would have been okay, right? As long as he didn't take yeah, possession. Yeah, as, as long as he didn't establish possession, it was right, fine. All right. Pulls up, nice turn no around. good. Anderson comes away with the rebound, and the Anderson going to push it down. And Cron going to go to work. He kicks it out. They work it down low. Wide open for three. Good. And that's number two, Grayson Slemons, his first basket of the night. Witten Woods going to slowly bring it back up the court. Hard pass there by Matthews. He's trying to get Dixon to give him a screen. A little confusion here with the offense. Need a little bit more movement with Lynn Woods to, to break down that zone. Yeah. They're kind of just oh. standing still. And they're going to get Cron with another foul there. He tried to pick off the pass, but instead he ended up getting Matthews instead of the ball. To get another look at that wide open three by Slimmons. Man. Look at this, just wide open all day. Yeah, the shooters are just camping out on the three-point line, and they're dropping off. Yeah, Anderson's saying, if you're going to let us have it, we're going to take it. It's the big fella, number 33, Demorian Stone, checks back in for Wenton Woods. Gets it down low. That's a good pass. Lawson. Uh, oh, the big fella? No, we're going to say it's a travel. He may have also called him on a foul if it wasn't for a travel. It seemed like he cleared him out. 
Yeah, Stone's, Stone's got the size, and he is a football player here at Winton Wood, so he probably was getting his torch mixed right up there up for a second. His left arm there. Yeah, he did kind of shove a little yeah. bit. Yeah. Yeah, you know, he's a football player. We get confused sometimes. <laughs> Rebound there by Stevens for Linton Woods, and here come the Warriors, gonna push it. Nice little move there. Gets it over to Matthews. Three-pointer, deep three-pointer wow. is no good. Went, or Anderson comes down with it there. Slemon's gonna bring it up for Anderson. Cuts it off. They get it down low already. Nice defense by the Warriors. And he dives on it, and that's going to be Winton Woods' ball. Matthews looking for somebody to get it to. Gets it out. That's Lawson. Kicks it back over to Matthews. Works it over to Stevens for three. Rainbow. No good. Once Rebound, Winton Woods. Nice pass. Matthews gets buried down low, and that's going to be a foul on Anderson. So Winton Woods going to the line for the first time tonight. Unselfish play there by Winton Woods, feeding the guy underneath to go to the line. Yeah, you got to attack this Anderson defense. All in all, Wynn Woods is in striking distance. They're just down eight here. Yeah, they haven't looked all that bad, I mean, for a team that really hasn't played much in the year yeah. 2021 as Matthews gets the first one to fall. We'll get another look at that foul. Looking to cut this lead to six with the free throw here. And it is good. Matthews hits them both. Oh, nice effort there by Lawson. Almost picked one off. Oh, more defense being played by Winton Woods. Travel. And we have a travel on Anderson. Looked to me like number 10 gave up a layup there for an extra pass. It was an extra pass that he probably didn't need to make. Let's take another look. He sees right there. Yeah, he could have done it if he wanted to. He gets yeah. it down to Parrish, and Parrish gets called for the travel. Definitely shuffled the feet. That was a good call. Yeah. He had about three Warriors right there on him. He was afraid to put that ball on the ground. Matthew's going to run the offense again for Woods. He's got short there to set a screen for him, but he doesn't need it. Matthews kicks it out to Stevens for a deep three. It's oh. good. He, or Caden Stevens. Cutting that lead to three, and we have ourselves a ball game here. You figured he was going to start knocking down some threes. He's got that high arc. It looks like he's got a shot. Just yeah, and I knock one down. Yep. And I called a Winton Woods game against Milford, which was their only win so far this season. And Caden Stevens, this kid can shoot the ball from three-point range. That was a rainmaker right there. Yeah, he can shoot some deep threes. This kid's got some touch. All in all, Wynn Woods coach got to be pretty pleased only being down three here after the hot start with Anderson. Yeah, Coach Tate there for Wynn Woods as he's coaching up his boys there. He can't be too disappointed. I mean, they're a very young team playing tonight, and they are right there with it. So one stat in the conference, um, steals per game. Jermaine Matthews is leading the conference in steals for Wynn Woods at 2.3 a game. Yeah, Matthews, he appears to, he seems to be who they run the offense through too, so Matthews seems to be the leader of this team. In other action tonight, we've got Milford at Loveland at 7.30, Little Miami at Walnut Hills at 7.30, Turpin at West Claremont at 7.30. And for those of you watching us live, Turpin is actually who we're gonna be covering Winton Woods playing tomorrow night here at Winton Woods High School. So the Turpin Spartans will be making a call to Winton Woods tomorrow night. So we're getting both, 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 both schools in that school district. That is a oh steal oh, there, but Anderson comes back down it. with it. Winton Woods getting aggressive on defense, down to not. He gets double teamed, goes for three wow. and a foul. Wow, not a good foul. No, he's going to be going to the line for three here. Oh, okay. Our producer, Tony, just informed us that the Milford game was actually canceled today. In the world of COVID, you just never know when games are going to be on or not. Yeah, you never know until the day of. Yep. Slemons makes the first one there for Anderson. And the second one does not fall, but he's shooting one more.
And he Just misses two. the third, so Slemons only makes one, and Winton Woods quickly going to push it right back down the floor. Looks like he Stevens for another three, another no good. Anderson comes down with the rebound. That's number four, Josh Overbeek. He could have got a could have got a reach in foul there. Lucky. Oh, nice strip by Matthews. And that's going to stay Anderson ball. That's number zero, Christian Ingram Jr. coming back in the game for Wenton Woods. So if you're looking at um, Anderson, looks like they're mainly a mixture of um, juniors and seniors, huh? Yeah, Wenton Woods is very young and Anderson's very experienced. We have a tie up here, and that's going to be Wenton Woods. We got timeout, I believe. Yeah, we got yeah. timeout. I thought you were going to say very old, but at 17 years old, that doesn't seem very old. No. <laughs> Coach Tate again, coaching up his team. They have to be happy being down only four here in a game with a team full of juniors and sophomores playing a team full of juniors and seniors, and they're hanging right with them. Yeah. Wenton Woods is not afraid to go after Anderson. So which game will we say was canceled? Uh, the Milford game. Okay. I wonder which team was... Um why it was canceled. Looks like Anderson is scheduled to play Milford tonight, tomorrow, but maybe not, depending on why the game was canceled. Yeah, you just never know anymore in today's world with COVID. Yep. And you look at Winton Woods, they've played, this is only their second game of the entire year of 2021. Yeah. And they're starting to shake that rust off. They're starting to look a lot better here in the second quarter. Matthew's gonna slow the pace down for the Warriors. Short right back to Matthews. Matthews goes isolation. He loses it. Slipped on the floor. And that's going to be a, a travel. Yeah. Some nice tight defense there being played by number one, not for Anderson as we take another look. I think he hit a slick spot. Oh, yeah. Him He's slide. Just, yeah. Yeah. Wenton Woods going to go with the full court press, not going to bring it up for Anderson. And Knott gets wide back open. Parrish going to take it to the hole, kicks it back out. And Damari and Stone comes down with it for Wenton Woods, and here come the Warriors. Matthews going to slow the pace back down for Wenton Woods. They seem to like this half-court offense. Back down to the big fella, Stone. Heavy. Oh, what a roll. <laughs> Stone making it look easy there. And that just cut the lead to two. He used the size a little bit to separate Oh, another himself. poke ball. That's going to stay Anderson ball. Nice effort there by Ingram. So we got Wynn Woods on the cusp of, looks like he, he kind of used his arm a little bit. <laughs> yeah. I mean, Sometimes he's got, they'll call that. Yeah, I mean, Stone's the biggest guy out on the court. He's going to be able to use that size if he wants to. Yep. Drives to the hole, kicks it back out, and it's turned over. Here come the Warriors. Oh, what a move by Matthews. And, and we are high. tied. Game on. <laughs> Wynn Woods is definitely hitting their stride. And they're going to cut him off. And the pressure. Stone going to have to play some defense here. And we got a stoppage, and that's going to be on the floor. I almost think on that play right there, it would have been better to go right to the rim rather than put it on the floor. Yeah, you kind of you kind of think if you're Anderson, do you want to make Stone make a play? Yep. There's another look. Nice little play there to make him possession by Matthews. This young man, Jermaine Matthews Jr., he can play only a sophomore, folks. So he's going to be around this Warriors program for another two years. Nice recovery from Wynn Woods here. Yeah, they're not afraid to go after Anderson. The ball rims out, and Alou Alou comes down with it. And that's going to be Wynn Woods' ball. They have a chance to take the lead on this possession. Matthews going to be the floor general again. He's directing traffic. He's going to go isolation on Knott. Works it over to Ingram. No good. Anderson going to come away with the rebound, and there's the pressure by the Warriors, and we have a stoppage. Yeah. And that's going to be a travel, and we're going right back to Winton Woods' ball. The light pressure on the inbounds is definitely having an effect on Anderson. Yeah, Winton Woods, they look like a completely different team here in the second quarter. Yeah. We get another look. They're going to get Knott again. 
Nice no look pass to Stevens. Stevens kicks it back over to Matthews and he's gonna direct traffic again for the Warriors. They gotta come out and defend hard not to give him that rainbow three. He has a screen, goes the other way, loses it. And he got fouled. He had number 23, Alou Alou, right there if he needed him, but they're gonna call the foul. And Matthews gonna be, no, they're gonna, we are gonna be shooting free throws here. Anderson really doesn't have an answer on those drives from Wynn Woods. Getting no, the rim surprisingly. Pretty easily. Yeah. yeah, surprisingly, because Anderson's got some big kids, but Wynn Woods yeah. is able to drive on them. And that ball's gonna rim out. So Matthews has a, ten, or has a chance to take a one point lead if he can make this one. And he makes that one, and just like that, Wenton Woods has taken their first lead of the game. Pressure again. And we're going to have a blocking foul there on Caden Stevens. He actually looked like he had him trapped. If he just let him go to the sideline, he would have, didn't have room to go. Yeah, I think that's just the inexperience. Caden Stevens, yeah. again, he's also only a sophomore. They trap him again, but he's able to get it through. Right back to Knott. He goes up and he's gonna be fouled. It's a good call, the defender stepped up. Nice aggressive play, but a little too aggressive. So we take another look. If he just lets them come to him rather than step up into him, yep. he's probably gonna get a charge there. And no good on the first one. Anderson having trouble on three throws as well. They've, they've missed quite a few. Yeah, and as hot as Anderson started off this game, they've been a little cold here in the second quarter as Wenton yep. Woods has really heated up. Not looks like he's talking to himself at the line there. He makes the second one, and we are now tied back up at 23. Anderson not going to apply pressure on this one. He's got short, takes a three, no good. Anderson comes away with the rebound. Now they're going to push the tempo. He's got an easy jumper, and it's no good. Wenton Woods with the rebound, and the ball gets knocked out by Anderson, so that's going to stay Wenton Woods' ball. Yeah, it started out, Anderson couldn't miss, and now they can't make. Yeah, it's like the teams have flip-flopped. Wenton Woods is hot, and Anderson's cold. And that ball gets knocked out of bounds off the inbound. That's going to stay Wenton Woods' ball. Had a chance to trap him in the corner, but Stevens does a nice job to get back. Stevens got to be careful there by half court. Don't want to get the over and back. And we got a we got a foul on Anderson there. Beating him on the dribble. That's going to be number 12, Evan Upchurch, getting called for the foul. I think they got the wrong. There we go. We're shooting one and one here. Anderson in the bonus with that foul. You know, when, when was this a team that definitely looks better than their record? Yeah, I've, this is my second game I've called for Wenton Woods as Stevens nails the first one. This is the second game I've gotten to call for Wenton Woods this year, and they won that game that I called. They're a very aggressive team, and they can shoot the lights out when they get hot, as we've seen here in the second quarter. This is a team that they're going to be proud of here in a few years because these kids are all going to be juniors and seniors next year. And can't get that one to fall. And he gets it right back. Oh, Caden Stevens with the hustle play. And that gives Wenton Woods a three-point lead, and the Warriors are swarming on defense. They break the press, and he's got stone right in his face, so they're going to have to work it back out. Going to drive, kicks it over, back out to Knott. Not going to drive, pulls up from the free throw line, no good. We have one minute to go as Witten Woods comes down with the rebound, and here comes Matthews. Big difference there is their ex they extended pressure. They got pressure on that jump shot. To Short. Short goes up for the layup. What a play by E.J. Short. What a turnaround here. The momentum firmly on the side of the Warriors here as we have about 33 seconds to go. Playing that aggressive defense. Stone, they don't want to work down low with him. Seemed like when they started defending in the backcourt, they got better in the front court. Yeah, it seems like Wenton Woods is starting to get back into their rhythm here. Offense and defense, they're not giving up as many wide open shots as they were in the first quarter. Anderson looking to likely just wait for one shot with 12 seconds to go. 
That's exactly what they're going to do. He's working short right on him. They double team, and we have a stoppage. I believe that's going to be a foul. He's reached in, reached in, yep. And that's going to put him at the line one and one, as that's going to put him in the bonus. So take another look at that nice little layup to EJ Shorthead. Take another look at it from another angle. Use the his body to there. protect the shot blocker. And short, he's only listed at six foot, but he was playing like a big man there. And this is the first, another and miss. that's going to be Wenton Woods ball. They have one, puts it up. Oh, oh no good. Oh. Jermaine Solid. Matthews almost. So that will do it for a very exciting first half of play. Winton Woods goes into the locker rooms with a 28-23 lead. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be right back. There's just one place where students are students first, and athletics are played with purpose and perspective. There's just one place where a team is more than a group of individual agendas. It's a catalyst for demonstrating the potential of the collaborative spirit. There's just one place where players, coaches, and fans experience the exhilaration that happens when an entire community rallies behind the school team. That place is your local high school. High school sports offer more than the joy of competition. Studies show that student athletes are more likely to enjoy greater levels of achievement in other areas of their lives, including academics. In addition, high school sports help young people in Ohio develop the discipline and confidence they need to be leaders in life, even as they unite communities like nothing else. High school sports, a winning part of a complete education. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association and the Ohio Interscholastic Athletic Administrators Association. Hi, I'm Benny Wells. Whatever the sport, wherever it's played, there's one thing that student athletes, coaches, and fans can all share, sportsmanship. The Ohio High School Athletic Association Respect the Game campaign reminds us that school sports are so much more than wins and losses. On behalf of the OHSAA, let's all do our part to make school sports a fun, positive, and rewarding experience that student athletes will remember for a lifetime. Every game, every time, let's all respect the game. This message presented by the Ohio High School Athletic Association. Let's take a time out to talk about educational athletics. That means that school sports are an extension of the classroom. Student athletes earn the privilege of participation in sports by succeeding during the school day first before they put on the team uniform later. Student athletes prove that with better attendance records, higher GPAs, and fewer discipline issues than non-student athletes. That's what it means to be a part of the Ohio High School Athletic Association. All right, welcome back, folks, to a very exciting game here. We have a Witten Woods 28-23 lead here on senior or cheerleader senior night, I'm sorry. As we get a shot of uh, some of the pregame festivities we saw here as the cheerleaders getting recognized for a difficult senior season for anybody. But, you know, they got a lot to cheer for here tonight with their basketball team being up. We are about to get ready to go again here. Ian, what do you think we should be looking for here in the second half after an outstanding first half of play? It's a good question. We had a battle of two quarters for sure. Anderson came out red hot, knocking down threes, and then Winwoods came back and adjusted. So it'll be interesting to see what happens in the third quarter. I'm figuring more of the same happened in the second quarter. Yeah, as Anderson takes over here to start the second half, that's going to be not working with it. Defense is night and day from where Wynwood started out playing defense. Yeah, Wynton Woods, they were impressive. In the second quarter, we have a loose ball. He saves it. Anderson still has it. Tight defense being played, and we have a double dribble. So that's going to be Warrior ball. Some tight defense there. That was Damari and Stone and number 10, Derek Lawson, double team in there. It's almost like the Wynwood's defense. The game started at 6 o'clock, and the defense showed up at 6.20. Yeah, <laughs> at least they showed up. They, they showed up, yeah, lead. absolutely. They might have missed an announcement about 7.30 start. Might get a oh, little late. Oh, deep three by Stevens. No good. Rebounded there by Short. Goes up. No good. Gets his own rebound. And, and we, we got, got a travel. walk on Stevens. Or on, uh, that's EJ Short. I'm sorry. That wasn't Stevens. That was EJ Short. It's kind of repeat on the other side what happened on the 
other side of the court. As Anderson going to have to work against that full court press of Winton Woods. Gets trapped and he's got him. Not going to slow it down to run the offense for Anderson. Gets it over to Overbeek. Gets that to Cron. Stone out there defending. He's got help from Matthews over to Parrish. He's got not for three. He's not going to take it. He's going to drive. Oh, no good. We got a foul on Winton Woods. Got a little bit. Nifty little move there by Knott. Almost got himself two points. It'll be interesting to see if Anderson has an answer because after knocking down the early threes, they really couldn't get anything going in the second quarter. Yeah, Winton Woods adjusted their defensive strategy and they started yeah. shutting that three-point shot down. Does not makes the first one, cuts that lead down to four. Number 11, Tariq Dixon comes back into the game for Winton Woods. Maybe part of the answer for Anderson is just go to the rim like he did there. Stone goes up and gets the rebound on the missed free throw. Winton Woods going to bring it up. Matthew's going to slow the pace back down. He's been the floor general all night for Winton Woods. Anderson has given up some points on the three throws tonight. Yeah, they've, they've struggled from the stripe tonight. I'm not sure Wooden Woods has gotten to the stripe very often, really. They've just gone to the basket and scored. Yeah, Matthews has been a hot hand for Wooden Woods in this one. He's going to work isolation on Knott. He gets by him, works it over. Short going to drive, pulls up, kicks it over to Matthews. No good. We have scramble for the ball, and that's going to be Anderson ball. Winwood's actually doing a pretty good job of being patient on offense and getting good shots. Yeah, and that's something, having done a game for these guys a couple, like a month or two ago. Oh, we have a turn. That's going to be Winton Woods' ball. But back to your point, Ian, they, they are very patient with the ball. They don't like to force it. They will sit back and they will they'll take their shots that they want. Matthews is a very good floor general for the Warriors. Gets it to him. Kicks it out to Short. He's got Knott in his face. Gets it back over to Matthews. Over to Dixon. Little Aaron error on pass that there. pass. He wanted yeah. Stone. Couldn't find him. Goes right by. Good drive to the no basket. No good. Ooh. Stone with a rebound. He finds. That's a heck of an outlet pass. Lawson. Oh, oh. Derek Lawson. <laughs> <laughs> Derek Lawson throwing it down. That was a heck of an outlet pass. Man. And a nice finish. What a feed by Stone, and Lawson does the rest. Three-pointer, no good. Scramble for the ball. Winton Woods comes down with it. Matthews gets a strip. His own man actually kind of oh, got in his way. Oh, not it for Anderson. He's cut another and push ball, and we have a foul. It almost looked like the Winton Woods guy wanted to get out on the court, but his own guy, unfortunately, was right in front of him. There's another look at that outstanding dunk. Look at that pass from Stone. Sorry. The big fella's a lineman on the football team. Maybe they <laughs> might want to try him at quarterback next season. The big fella with an arm. Two-hand chest pass. We got a stoppage here before the play, and we got a hold against Winton Woods. No shot. They're going to get Lawson for the foul. There used to be a player for the Washington Bullets years ago in the 70s that could do that outlet pass. Yeah. Wes Enseld, but that goes a long time ago. Yeah, I, I had a good arm back in my play days. I just had no idea where it was going. <laughs> you, you didn't trust me to throw it deep. Going to the rim. No good there, and we got a foul on Winton Woods. And that's going to be Cron going to the line. He was hot to start the game off, hit three easy threes. As we get another look at that outstanding dunk there by Lawson, the two-handed jam. <laughs> and the reaction of the, the lady in the background on that one says it all. She was hyped up on that one as Cron hits the first. And Cron, he started off the game hot for Anderson. He hit three threes in the first quarter, but he hasn't really done a whole lot since, He's trying to get himself going again as he makes both of them. Cuts the lead down to four here. It does look like Anderson's starting to make an effort to try to get to the rim and get, get to the line. Yeah, they're trying to, or they're trying to use Winton Woods' aggressiveness against him, and it's worked here in the third quarter. And Short gets tripped up there, and that's going to be a foul on Knott. Just enough to, to, to knock him off his feet. Knott trying to plead his case. Let's take another look. 
Uh, not uh, much, really. Just that a goes little more bit. his momentum carried him to the ground, but they yeah. call the foul. Lawson going to drive. Pulls up. It's a tough shot. No good. Jump ball. And that is jump ball. Jump nice ball, effort. Yep. I believe that's number 11, Tariq Dixon. It was with the hustle play there for Winton Woods. So in the Eastern Cincinnati Conference, you got Lebanon at 9 and 1. You got Walnut Hills at 9 and 1. Turpin 7 and 1. Yeah, Walnut Hills, that's a tough team. I know I've seen them on the news a couple times on Friday night. They have, a, I believe, a kid that's a center there is about seven feet tall for Walnut Ooh. Hills. He's a big boy. <laughs> it looks like they're on an eight-game winning streak. Yeah, Walnut Hills, they're a very good basketball team. They have a nice facility, too. That's where my final high school football game was played is at Walnut Hills. They have a nice little facility over there. Yeah. Anderson comes down with that rebound. Gets it over to Knott. Knott pulls up. He's looking for a pass. Gets it down to Overby. Getting to the Overby rim. Overby drives. No good. Scramble for the ball. Still loose. Anderson comes down with it. Gets it He's to Knott. In. Knott loses it. And here comes Matthews for Witten Woods. They got numbers. Oh, a nice oh, spin. Oh, a nice little Euro step there. <laughs> what a play by Jermaine Matthews, Jr. Very nice. He's got the ball handling skills. He's got the touch with the shot, too. He's given us some moves between the first half. We did that 180 spin. Yeah, Matthews, he, he is quite the player here for the Warriors. Not going to slow it down and get the offense going for Anderson. We go to the rim again. Got Ron can't get that one to fall. Comes down with it as Di uh, Lawson, I'm sorry. Looks like he got a, might have got bumped there a little bit. Lawson going to get it over to Matthews. Matthews going to direct traffic again here. No shot clock in Ohio for high school basketball, so he can do this as long as he wants, folks. He's going to drive. Aaron pass there. Anderson comes down with it. Yeah, that was a force. Now as Parrish comes down with it for Anderson. Left his feet. Three-pointer, no. Goes Go, up. Getting going to the ray. Winton Woods comes down with the board. Matthews going to push the tempo. Not knocks it loose. Loose ball. And that's going to be Anderson ball. And Matthews is slow getting up for Winton Woods. And that's, that is not what you want to see if you're Winton Woods. Nice sportsmanship there, though, by Overbeek to stand there and offer his hand to help him up. But Matthews said, no, I'm okay. Thanks, though. Not going to bring it up slowly for Anderson. Not going to direct traffic for Anderson. Three-pointer. No good off the back of the... Oh, oh, are you kidding me? Cold iron. Talk about a the favorable bounce. Wow. And cold iron getting the friendly iron there. <laughs> That Matthews might give, gonna slow it down. That might give Levin a little bit of momentum right there. Short comes up for three, no good. Anderson comes down with the board, and they're going to push it quickly. Not going to drive, and he loses the handle, and that's going to be oh. Winton Woods' ball. And not again, pleading his case. He thought Matthews knocked it out. Take another look at this incredible bounce. Bang, and then straight up and straight down. Not sure he could repeat that one. No. I didn't think there was any way that was calling in. No. And Matthews, he likes to do this. I've seen Winton Woods do this a lot. They like to kill clock, especially when they have the lead. They don't want to push it if they don't have to. Alulu comes up with it. No good. <laughs> Anderson going to kick it up here quickly. They're down three. And they're going to slow it back down. Not going to direct traffic. Gets over to Parrish. Parrish pulls up for three. No good. Stone comes down with it for the Warriors. And here come the Warriors. They want to run. When Matthews, they can. he has no numbers. Good defense that time. Ball's loose. He comes up with it anyway. Drives, loses it again. Oh. Slides. The Anderson fans here next to us, they are wanting to travel, and they didn't get it. He swam on that one. <laughs> Some of the Anderson parents here next to us, they're on their feet yelling about that one. <laughs> that was a pretty long slide. Let's take a look here. Loose ball. Yeah, he slid for a good little distance. I'm not entirely sure how they let that one go. But Unless they think he didn't have possession. That's that's about all I can figure because yeah. he slid for a good couple <laughs> feet there. I'm sure Wenton Woods isn't going to complain because they get to keep the ball. But yeah. Anderson, I think, definitely has a gripe there. 
tight defense on the inbound. Linton Woods able to get it in, loses it. Here comes Knott. And Linton Woods cuts it right off. Nice play by EJ Short. <laughs> Gets it right back down the floor. Lawson going to yeah, slow it down. Again, be impatient. Yeah, he didn't want to force anything. He wants to get his teammates down there. Definitely like they set the offense from out top. Yeah, Matthews likes to call the plays out there. That's the way Winton Woods operates. Gets it over to Ingram. Ingram looking, gets it down to Stone. We top. have a foul here. And they got that one on number five, Austin Coldiron for Anderson. It's almost like they wait for Anderson to make a commitment, then they go, then they run the offense. Yeah, Winton Woods, they are a very patient team with the ball. Caden Stevens coming back into the game for the Warriors, comes in for Christian Ingram Jr. And that's number 12, Evan Upchurch coming back into the game for Anderson. It is an interesting style. I don't know if I've seen a game where teams that deliver at the beginning. Short goes up and he's fouled. Yeah, Wenton Woods, they're kind of a throwback because a lot of teams now, they want to go with the run and gun offense. Wenton Woods, they'll take their time. They will, they'll pick you apart. Wenton Woods likes to play a little bit of old school basketball. So that's going to be EJ Short at the line, shooting two for Winton Woods. First one flanks the back of the iron, doesn't go in. Short looking to make this a four-point game with this shot, and it goes. He got the roll. I've seen a couple shots here lately get a friendly bounce. Yep. Ingram coming right back into the game for Wenton Woods. Can extend pressure on the backcourt. Wenton Woods going to go right back to that full court press. Anderson breaks it quickly. He's double teamed. Gets it right down there. Deep three by Cron. Big time shot by number 10, Joey Cron. He's, he's back. Yeah, he's back, folks. Anderson going to take a timeout as we get another look at this shot. They draw him in, and Cron wide open from deep three. Boom. Almost out there at the volleyball court line. Big time three. Just a little bit at a time, Anderson's got themselves right back in the game. Yeah, Anderson definitely starting to fight back in there. There's a nice little floater nice there by Matthews. Seen a few of those. Yeah, Matthews, he's a tough player. This young man is only a sophomore, folks. You're going to be seeing him a lot for Wenton Woods over the next two years. Keep an eye on number one, Jermaine Matthews Jr. in the next few seasons. He's got those quick active there. hands on defense there and takes it coast to coast. With that was the, the step you were talking about earlier. Yeah, nice little hop Euro step. Yep. Matthews going to take the ball up slowly here. We got under 50 seconds to go in the third quarter, folks. A one point Winton Woods lead. Matthews may actually wait for one last shot here because Winton Woods is very deliberate with their offense, especially under a minute to go. Stevens is way out there. He's going to try to drive a little bit and then pull up. Work in isolation. Oh, loose ball. It comes down with it as Ingram. Ingram getting a little separation. Oh, oh gets right by him. What a move by Ingram. Oh, no good. No Stone foul. comes out the rebound, and he's fouled. Letting him play tonight. A little bit of a contact on that drive to the rim. Yeah. But it's gone both ways. And that's going to be the big fella, Damari and Stone, going to the line for Wenton Woods. So take another look. <laughs> that was pretty yeah. – a, a lot of contact yeah. there. Ingram took a spill. <laughs> Stone there makes it first, gets that lead back out to two. We got a substitution coming in late for Wenton Woods. That's going to be number 11, Tariq Dixon, coming back into the game. Comes in for Caden Stevens. It's amazing how quiet this chim gets when Wenton Woods is at the line. Stone buries the second one. That's a three point Wenton Woods nice lead touch. with 20 seconds to go. And they're going to go with that full court press again. Matthews gets a hand on it, but it goes out of bounds. That's going to stay Anderson ball. That's been an issue for Anderson all night. Yeah, Wenton Woods has got the very quick, active hands on defense, and they've knocked a lot of balls loose. 
Anderson, as soon as they get across half court, I believe they're probably going to wait for one shot. Kicks it out. Shooter. He's got him right in his face. Gets it over to Overby. Drives, puts one up. Tough shot. No good. Well and that will do it for the third quarter. Winton Woods with a 35-32 lead. Folks, don't go anywhere. We will be back in just one minute with the fourth quarter. Ian, what can you tell us about what we see in these first three quarters of an exciting game? Boy, yeah, it's been an exciting game. I mean, that was a, in that quarter. I mean, Anderson basically did a nice job of slowly getting themselves back into the game. Wooden Woods was creating pressure, but I noticed in that quarter, Wooden Anderson was definitely taking a more concerted effort to try to get to the rim and get some three throws. And they got their shooter knocking down a three. So, yeah, as we saw that highlight there, Joey Cron, he's yeah. starting to heat back up for Anderson, and they need that because he was tough in the first quarter of this game when Anderson had the lead. As we take a look at the highlight package going here. And here's another look at that dunk by Dix, or Lawson, I'm sorry. This game just might come down to being decided at the three throw line. Yeah, and that's a game, or that's a game that Winton Woods may win because Anderson struggled a little bit at the yeah. free throw line tonight. And Winton Woods, for the most part, has been pretty solid. And folks, just as a little tidbit of information here, usually I would have used the team's nickname by now, but anyone who did, has seen the nickname listed for Anderson knows that that's a name that's caused some controversy lately. They voted over the summer to change their name, but they have not actually picked a new one. They do have it down. I've looked at their website earlier today. They have it narrowed down to five choices. So next year, Anderson will either be the Comets, the Phoenix, the Raptors, the Ravens, or the Riverhawks. That's interesting. There'll be two Comets in Cincinnati then. Well, the Mason Comets and the Anderson Comets. Yeah. The irony would be if they change their name to the Ravens, there is a college in my old conference. That there's a nice little bucket there by Parrish. There's actually a team in the conference. I played college football with the Mount, or College of Mount St. Joseph. There is an Anderson Ravens in that conference. So there's a college called Anderson who ironically wears black and orange. Hmm. This Matthews is going to take it here for Winton Woods. Gets it down to Stone. Can't handle it. Got Ingram back comes to him down somehow. With A little Lawson battle and going one down one low. Lawson going to drive and he loses it. But we have a stoppage that's going to be a foul on Anderson. He's arguing that he was kind of used his arm to get around him. Forgetting the term for that. When they go like this. Oh, clearing him out. Clearing him out, yeah. Goes up. No oh. good. Anderson comes down with the rebound. Oh, nice play there, Lawson. And we have a tie up here. Jump ball. And we got a jump ball. And that is going to stay Winton Woods' ball. Nice effort play there by Lawson. He has done it all tonight for Winton Woods. Threw down that big dunk in the third quarter. He's had a couple of hustle plays on defense, some good offensive plays. Quick substitution in. EJ Short back into the game for the Warriors. Gets it down to Stone, the big fella with the big basket. Damari and Stone, he just slid right on by him. He's like, I'm wide open, man. Nice play by Stone. We're going to call a foul, over, though. Over the back. And that's going to be on Stone. Let's take another look. Stone just slides right on through, uncontested. He says, I'll take those two points. Kicks it out to Overbeek. To Cron. No oh, good. No. Parrish comes down with it, and it's a swarm of Warriors right there. Loose ball. Anderson comes away with it. Overbeek wide open for two, and it's good. Knocked and that's going to cut that lead back down to one for Winton Woods. Gets it to short. Anderson going with that full court press. Look at that. Matthew's going to go right at him, and then he's going to slow it down. That's the way they like to work. Break the press and then slow it down. Matthews looking to go a little isolation here. And we're going to have a foul on Anderson. That is number 12, Evan Upchurch. Put him on the three throw line. Yep, that'll put him in the bonus now. 
So Matthews going to the line, shooting one and one for Wenton Woods. So they'll be shooting one and one the rest of the way on three throws, so it'll be interesting to see if Wenton Woods knocked these three throws down. Yeah, Wenton Woods still has a foul to give. Or two fouls to give, actually, right. five fouls. Nice Thanks. rebound there by Lawson. Loose ball still, and we're gonna have Anderson ball. It's gonna, they're gonna say it hit off of a Wenton Woods player. Let's take another look here. Lawson comes down with it, and he's got a whole host of Anderson players right by him. Anderson quickly breaks the press. Kicks it out for three. Another no foul. Is that three? Yep, that's going to be Cron going to the line, shooting three for Anderson. Another case of fouling on three-point shots. You don't want to do that. No, Cron can hit three or free throws too, so yep. there's a very good chance that he could give Anderson the lead shooting three here. He makes that first one. That'll tie that game up at 37. Cron, he's hit a, I think he's hit every free throw so far tonight, so he is very capable of giving them a lead. And he does, and that's a one-point lead for Anderson with one shot to go. So going down the, down the home stretch here, the Joey Cron, not a guy you want to foul if you're Wenton Woods. And he hits all three, all and that three. gives Anderson a two-point lead, and that is an Anderson out. timeout. So both teams going to get a little bit of a breather here with a full timeout by Anderson. We still have a, about a little over halfway to go through the fourth quarter. There's Coach Andre Tate of Linton Woods. He's trying to urge his guys, or his guys to keep on going and just keep fighting. And he can't be disappointed in the effort that Linton Woods has given in this game. No. You feel the way this game has gone, you feel like Linton Woods should be up at this point. Surprise when they're down, but. Yeah, if you take away that first quarter, this would be a Linton Woods lead because Linton Woods started right. off so sluggish. But yeah. That's Anderson head coach Frank Brandy there coaching up his guys. So what was our score at the end of, at halftime? I'm trying to remember. Uh, I believe it was 35-32 maybe. It was okay. a close game. I know it was a close yeah, game. Yeah. I don't remember the exact score. Yeah. Or no, it wasn't 30. It was no, a little lower than that. I think it was, was it 28-23 maybe? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I looked at that score. I'm like, no, Wenton Woods scored more than two points in the entire third quarter. Yeah. <laughs> All right, just under six minutes to go in the fourth quarter. Wenton Woods trails by two. Matthew's going to push the ball slowly down the floor. That's been Wenton Woods' MO all game is that slow, dissected pace. Lawson goes up and, and the nice foul. Big, big basket. Lawson with a nice move there. Gets the basket and the foul with a chance to give Wenton Woods the lead again. Take another look here. A nice Gave little him. move, gets him loose. Eight. Yeah, he gets swatted on that arm. He goes up and gets it with one hand. Solid move. Lawson looking for the lead for Winton Woods. And he gets the Got friendly it. roll, and Winton Woods is back out in front. The Warriors go with that full court press again. They've been very aggressive on defense in this one. Anderson doesn't panic. They break it. That's Upchurch looking for somebody to pass it to. Gets it down low to Overbeek. Over to Parrish. Back to Overbeek. Overbeek gets swarmed. Upchurch going to slow it back down for Anderson. They have made a nice adjustment since the first quarter of keeping the ball out of the shooter's hands. Gets down low. Cron can't come down with it. He does end up getting his own point. A smart heads up play there by Cron throws it off a of short so it goes out on Wenton Woods. And that's a high basketball IQ play there by Joey Cron. Anderson will take over. That's Upchurch gets it over to Overbeek. Back to Upchurch. Gets it to Parrish. Back to Overbeek. Upchurch. Cron going to go Around for three. Up. No good that time. Comes down with it for Anderson. Parrish goes up and he's fouled. 
Nice job again to the rim. Parrish going to be going to the line, shooting two for Anderson. They've definitely made a commitment in the second half to, to force Anderson to stop him on the drive. Yeah, Anderson decided that we cooled off from three. We may as well start attacking down low. He hits the first one, and we've got a tie game again. Another good battle here this week. Yeah, I haven't been disappointed. Any games I've called lately, every one I've done has been a great game. And he misses that one, so we're going to stay tied. Short comes down with it for Winton Woods. He gets it to Matthews, and Matthews is going to slow that pace down again. Gets it right back to Matthews. He drives, kicks it out to Stevens, who can take a deep the three, rainbow. and he oh. does, but it does not go. Anderson comes down with the rebound. Overbeat going to push it for Anderson. Loses it, but gets the handle on it again. Ooh. Oh, <laughs> dangerous elbow there yeah. by Church. Good thing he didn't hit somebody with that. Gets it right back to him. Oh, picked off they by Short. Here that. comes Lawson oh. again. He can't get it. Oh. Oh. It's a little bit too long. Man, a little too far on that pass. Lawson, he's already thrown down one huge dunk tonight on a breakaway. He almost had another one. Need to put a little more air underneath that one. Yeah, it was a little too much of a line drive here. Let's take another look. Short, just a little too much oomph on that pass. As the cheerleaders all <laughs> ducked tried. the cover. <laughs> Yeah, Lawson had a full head of steam. Those cheerleaders are like, no, thank you. I'd rather not get plastered into the wall. <laughs> There's, the cheerleaders are still chuckling about that one down there. Yeah. And that young lady might have been celebrating her senior night tonight. She did not want to have it end that way. <laughs> Anderson gets it down, easily breaks the press. To Parrish, Parrish gonna drive. Oh, and the foul! Nice, nice, nice cut. Stone in disbelief that they called the foul, but he gets the friendly roll, and Parrish is gonna get a free throw here to give it a three-point play, which would also be a three-point lead for Anderson. With exactly four minutes to go, let's get another look. Parrish drives right at the big fella. That thing rims right on in. Yeah, he did body him. That was a good call. Yeah. Stone trying to make the case he went straight up. But I don't think they're going to buy that one. No. Nope. Stone actually comes out of the game for a loo a loo. Parrish looking to make it a three-point lead for Anderson. And Man. he gets another friendly roll, and that's going to be a 43-40 lead for Anderson. Matthew's going to slow it down again. He's going to drive right at him. Nice drive, Stop it. and a and finish. And the shot is good, and the foul. The Anderson side, not happy, not still trying to say my arms were straight up, sir, but the official not going to listen to him. I wondered if they were questioning whether that should have been a three, whether it should have been on the floor, but that's a foul. Yeah, that's, that's definitely a foul. He went right at him. Yep, it's yep. A heady, a heady play by Matthews. And a miss, three and throw. And we have a stoppage. And they're going to get Winton Woods for a foul on the shot. They're going to get a Lou Lou for a shove there. So that's going to be Anderson Ball, and that's actually going to put him at the line for the bonus. He was arguing it should have been a three, but I think you got that call right. Yeah. And Stone coming right back into the game for Winton Woods. Coming in for a Lou Lou. Gave the coach a chance to talk his piece a little bit. Yeah. So Cold Iron going to the line for Anderson, the number six leading scorer in the ECC. And he makes that first one look easy. And this is the time of the game if you're Anderson. If you can start making some free throws, you can start to pull away if you can keep Winton Woods from scoring. Because this is a very good shooting team at Anderson. Cold Iron can't get that one to fall. The big fellow with the rebound. And Stone gets it to Matthews. Matthews going to slow the pace down a little bit for the Warriors, only down by two, so still plenty of time. About 3.40 to go, only a two-point lead, so Winton Woods, no time to panic. Dixon going to work it now for Winton Woods. Gets it down to Lawson. Lawson loses it, and here comes Knott. Matthews with the foul. Keeps That's a smart foul, making Arnett at the line. 
I think they need a little bit more movement on Wynn Wood's side on their offense there. Yeah, it's it seems like, it seems like not that just kind of read that pass immediately. Let's take yeah. another look. Yep. Oh, actually, no, Number actually, he just stood there, not came by, and just took it from him. Yeah, they're just standing still. Yeah, just, yeah Lawson kind of lost track of where he was, and he's came swatted it right from him. Not misses the first shot there. He's shooting two with the double bonus for Wynton Woods. Caden Stevens back into the game for Wenton Woods, so they need that three-point shooter, and that is definitely who Caden Stevens is for the Warriors. That man can hit a deep three. And Knott makes the second one. That'll make it a three-point lead for Anderson. Matthew's going to take it slowly up the floor for Wenton Woods and go right back to directing traffic. So you want to try to break him down on the dribble. Goes Stone trying to give him a screen, but the Anderson player there is too quick for it. Matthews with a he nice still, play. Yeah. He didn't need the screen. Yeah. He <laughs> said, thanks for the help there, Demarion, but I got it. That cuts that lead right back oh, down to one. I think he might have taken a couple quick steps there. Loose ball. Got a oh. hit on the pass. Overbeak wide open. They're going to Oh. an easy yeah, yeah. basket for Knox. Wise move, I think. Yeah, Overbeek had a wide open three. Nobody challenged him, but he saw that Knott had a very easy shot and yeah. he said, all right, I'll just let you have this one. Nice drop. DJ Short nice with the bucket Get to the rim. Time out, Warriors. Short comes up a little limping here. That is not good. He's been a tough player for Wenton Woods, so you don't want to see him cramping up. And we have got a very exciting oh. finish coming up, a one-point lead for Anderson in what has been an outstanding matchup. Again, I think it still might come down to who's making three throws at the end here. Yeah, and we get another look. That was a wide open bucket for Knott. Somebody missed their assignment on that one. Yeah, and then there's EJ Short driving. It looks like he landed a little awkwardly on that knee is what happened there. Yeah. I thought he might have cramped up, but he was kind of came down hobbling a little after landing. So we're coming down to the barn burner, coming down to the end again. Yeah. I couldn't tell you he was going to win this game. No, I thought the first quarter, and Ian, I think you can agree with me, the first quarter we thought this was going to be an Anderson blowout, and Whitten Woods was like, okay, we're ready to go now. We, yeah. It's like a boxer or a mixed martial arts fighter. You need yeah. to take a punch or two to get yourself woke up, and that's exactly what we saw in this one for Whitten Woods. Yep. So just over two and a half minutes to go here in the fourth quarter, a one-point Anderson lead, and this is going to be Anderson ball. Crawley going to inbound it for Anderson. Yeah, can Anderson break this press? And they immediately Sorry, get across half court. Overbeek looking for somebody to pass it to for Anderson. He's got Parrish. Parrish is a big fellow. I don't think he's going to take a three, but you never know. And he does, and he gets it back to Knott. Lawson comes out to double team with Matthews. Leaves an open. Down Parrish wide open. Oh, goes right up under short. Oh, got foul. And they're going to get Lawson for the foul. What a heady play there by Jake Parrish. He let short go right over top of him. He's like, okay. Take another look here. He's let short go up and over. He's like, I'm not going to let you block that. And then Lawson comes and slaps him on the arm as he goes up for the shot. He's going to be shooting two here. So a very heady play by Jake yeah. Parrish. Good foul there, though. Make him make shots at the free throw line. Yeah, especially with a big fellow that was a forward. He hits that first one. Once again, got a little bit of a nice roll. Yeah, some games some games we call, we see where nobody can get any kind of a bounce. And in this one, we've had a couple of really odd yeah. bounces that have gone in. Yeah. And Parrish gets Knocked them both down. Big ones. Three-point lead. Matthew's going to slow that pace down here. 2.05 to go and a very exciting finish coming up here in the fourth quarter. you got to believe with them needing a three-pointer, they're either going to drive and try to get the and one, or you got to believe Caden Stevens is going to be coming into play here with him in that hot hand at three-point range. Matthews is still looking for somebody he's going to drive. Definitely wants to get Pulls to the rim. And he oh. got it. What a shot by Matthews. Some more tight defense by Quentin Woods. Anderson able to break it. Timeout. Timeout. 
That's going to be Anderson calling the timeout there. That's going to be a 30-second timeout. Matthews has consistently been able to create his own shot by breaking Anderson down on the dribble. Yeah, Matthews is wise beyond his years with the basketball IQ. The young man's only a sophomore as we take another look at that outstanding play. So how much do you think Matthews has? 20? Yeah. More? I'll be interested to see the box score of this game afterwards to see how many points Matthews has put up. His 20 might be light. Man, this young man, he's been putting in some work today. We get a shot of Lawson and Matthews there. We were down on the floor. We might be able to ask. Yeah. Up here, up here in the stands, just like the other fans. Yeah, we're over in the corner. The bleachers. <laughs> yeah, we're high atop the bleachers here at Whitten Woods tonight. Depending on the good camera work of camera work of Waycross. Yeah, our camera crew doing a great job. There we are, Ian. There we go. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Yeah, great camera work that we've had all night tonight. Really let us been able to see what's going on in the action because at the far end of the court, I can't see anything. Yeah. We're definitely safe distance from the rest of the fans. Yeah. Yeah, two, this is more what you'd expect from a Tuesday night crowd of, during COVID out, or during the COVID pandemic. It's a yeah. decent crowd, but I mean, you know, it's a Tuesday night. People got homework and work. And yeah. Wonder what kind of audience Waycross gets with the COVID going on. The people are just sitting home watching the games, maybe. Yeah, maybe. You know, Ian, you and I have called a couple games for Northwest High School, and those those gyms have been crowded. I've been surprised that those weren't out of the maximum number of people. Agreed. Double team there by Winton Woods. Gets it down. Oh, nice. that was Matthews, wow. But he can't save it. And he takes a hard tumble into that wall. Man, you hope he's okay. He took a spill into that wall. There's not a lot of gap, is there? No. There it is. seems to be all right, though. Take another look here. This is an outstanding hustle play there. And Matthews, oh, oh back. Okay. back. Gosh, man, yeah. that just looked painful. Thank God he's got some padding there. Yeah. Probably a little bit more. He wish they had more. He stays in the game. Nice! Oh! Yeah, boy, <laughs> Impressive. And Lawson comes down the rebound and, and we got a foul. Got to watch that replay again. Yeah, that Lawson, was a rejection. Lawson said, not in my house. <laughs> and Lawson's a little, getting up a little slow. Boom! Oh! <laughs> That's and getting, Lawson, look, look at the, at the jump. <laughs> Lawson listed as 6'4", and man, yeah. he almost hit his head on the backboard going up for that one. <laughs> Lawson going to the line, shooting two here as we're in the double bonus. So he has a chance to give Linton Woods the lead if he can nail both of them. Yeah, that was impressive. The impressive athletic ability there by My Derek fight Lawson. Place on the track team. Man, that kid can get up. And first one does not fall, so he still has a chance to tie the game here with a minute 15. Get three throws are going to be big down here. Again, it might be deciding who wins this game or who doesn't. Yeah, and Tariq Dixon comes back in for Linton Woods. He comes in for Caden Stevens, giving Stevens a breather. Lawson trying to tie it here. Can't get Short. it to fall. Two Lose missing, ball. But they got Short the rebound. Comes down with it. Matthews, Matthews is going to run gonna it now. Matthews going to go to the rim. Matthews going to play a little keep away here. Overbeek staying right with him, though. Come out, set a pick out. High. for a pick. Doesn't use it. And we have one minute to go in a very exciting game, folks. Strap in. This is going to be an exciting finish. Oh, Matthews nice pass. Stone. Stone. Oh, he missed it. Ball. Oh, man, oh. the crowd. They were losing their minds what? thinking Whitten Woods was going to take the lead, but not there. What a drive by Matthews. What a kick. Unfortunately, it just rolled. Well orchestrated. Beautiful pass. Stone was right there. Just a little oh. unlucky. It just hung. First time of the night, the rim was not favorable. Yeah, that is a bad time to have the rim going against you. So that's going to be Jake Parrish going to the line for Anderson shooting, or shooting two in the double bonus. Matthews was definitely frustrated after that, after making that great play. It just it wouldn't drop. Yeah. I mean, Matthews, this kid's only a sophomore, folks. He is going to be an absolute stud for the Warriors in the future. And a missed three throw from back. Parrish is going to leave some points on the board, or leave some points on the floor. Leaving the door open. Let's take another look at this roll. Great call, great, great ass. Play, just just no roll. Oh, man, you hate to see that if you're Winton Woods. 
Parrish looking to make this a two-point game here with this free throw. Want to box out here. He makes that Knocked one, it so down. it's a two-point game, and we have a timeout. So, so Anderson it, calling a timeout there. Both teams down to one timeout. So I think we can pretty much decide what Wynn Woods is going to do here on the inbound. Oh, yeah, but, you can almost yeah. guarantee yeah. they're going to hold for one shot. And there's another look at Lawson's dunk from back in the third quarter. Stone hits him that right was, in the stride. Uh, yeah. Might have been the play of the night right there. Yeah, somebody cut oh, that Oh, this one out. might have yeah, been, though. Be too. <laughs> Defensive play of the night. Yeah, Lawson just Look out of nowhere. Look at the, yeah. <laughs> I mean, the, those of you that watch this and are fans of professional wrestling, you've heard the phrase of the RKO from out of nowhere by Randy Orton. Yeah. <laughs> Derek Lawson with a swat from out of nowhere. That was there. a highlight film. Yeah, somebody get that one out to the local news and get that one on the sports shows tonight. That's the kind of thing that, a certain show we play in a song that sounds a little bit like da 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 da. <laughs> I'm not sure if we have the copyright to that, so. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's why I didn't mention the actual name of the show. <laughs> Had to be a little safe. Matthew's going to slow the pace down. We got 46 seconds to go. No reason to rush. Only down two. Oh. We and we have a foul. Timeout or a foul. And they're going to call Overbeek for the foul, and he is not happy about that Oh, wow. One. The Anderson crowd here by us, they are not happy about that one. That's going to put it. Winton Woods at the line. I didn't know two. if I saw much. Oh, he did oh, put yeah, his hands on did. him. He got him on the wrist. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't It wasn't after. It was the initial. Yeah, it looked like his momentum kind of carried him into him is what happened yeah. there. It's actually a good call. So we're shooting two here, a chance to tie. Oh, Matthews again. can't get that one to fall. Leaving points on the board. Cron back into the game for Anderson. He's been the hot hand shooting the ball, especially from three. And Tariq Dixon back into the game for Wenton Woods. Big shot here for Matthews. Can he cut it to one? Got and second he does. One. It's a one-point game, folks. 41 and a half seconds to go. Wenton Woods on the press. Here you want to extend pressure, but don't foul. High pass there, gets it to Knott. Anderson can start killing clock if they want, and that's what they're going to do, go a little four corners here. You're going to have to start fouling if you're Wenton Woods. Foul right there. Some don't foul your shooter, though. By Anderson on his four corners, and there's there a go. foul there by Lawson. Lawson looking a little frustrated that his teammates weren't doing the fouling. You know, they wanted to get the ball into their best three-throw shooter, but I think, I think Wood Woods is... Probably happy that this guy's shooting rather than number 10. Yeah, that was some great passing by Anderson right yep. at four corners offense. I'm not sure what he shot for the game so far, the guy at the line, but he's missed a couple. I'm not sure. I know Knott's had a couple shots, but he's also had a couple rim out, so I'm not really yeah. sure. He's he's done a lot of dishing the ball to other guys. I know cron has been the big three-point shooter for Anderson. Big three throws here for Anderson. Yeah, this, if he makes both of them, that'll be a three-point lead. He Left misses it short. the first. He's leaving points on the floor again. He's had a little bit of that tonight, leaving the first just a little short of the rim. Big box he, out here if he misses. He made makes it. The, first, the second. So we have a two-point lead. Winton Woods still has 20 seconds. They have plenty of time. And we have a Winton Woods timeout. This is going to be their final timeout of regulation. Settle in, folks. We are in for an exciting finish in this one. A two-point game with under 30 seconds to go. This would be an interesting time for Matthews. Yeah. This would be an interesting play right here. It is. See some of the plays from Matthews. Yeah. But it might be an interesting play for him to drive and then kick it out to the three-point shooter and see if he can knock down the three for the win. Yeah, it looks like Stevens is going to be in the game looking at Wynton Woods' bench. Stevens is sitting down with the rest of the guys that are in, so I'm going to guess that... If they're going to try and go for a win here, if they can draw Anderson away, Stevens can hit threes. I've seen this kid hit very yeah. deep ones. And you know the defense is going to collapse to Matthews to stop the drive. Yep. And you kind of wonder if you're Anderson, do you foul him so you put him at the line for two instead of trying to give him that three? I mean, that would potentially give him the tie, so maybe that's a stupid yeah. idea. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I, I, think, I think that was me. I lost track of the score for a second. I thought it was <laughs> a three-point game. At two, I think Wynn Woods would be okay with that. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I thought but at three it's different. Yeah, I was, I was thinking it was a three-point <laughs> game. That was my fault. I swear I know how to do math. <laughs> it's 
17.9 seconds to go. A two-point game. Settle in, folks. Here we go. So let's see, if, Woods ball. let's see if they do that. Drive and then kick to the three-point shooter. Or Matthews Stevens just take it to the rim. Went, Stevens is in the game for Wenton Woods, and he can hit the threes. So let's see what they try to do here. Matthews going to take his time. He's got Overbeek right on him. He almost loses it. And they go to Stevens. Knocked loose. And that's going to oh. stay Wenton Woods ball. Stays possession. Let's see what happened here. See if they got that right. Ooh, uh, I, think I, I think that actually went off a three. That's oh. That? oh. Yeah, that was, he got, he got fortunate yeah, they got, there. He got lucky there. Matthew's going to try if he loses it. And he turns it over, and that is going to probably gonna do, do the it game. there as the foul with under two seconds to go, and that should just about do it. Just we're not able to execute late in the game there. Man, what a heartbreaking finish there for Wenton Woods. Outstanding effort, but man, they just can't, just can't, just can't buy a win when they want it. I couldn't tell if Anderson actually knocked it off or he just lost it. I don't know. It's like he drove and then the ball just got loose. Yeah. So here's Parrish. He can put this thing away here. Anderson not even going to put anybody down there. They're just going to defend deep. If he makes them both, this game is over. And he misses the first one. So if he misses the next one, he leaves it open for a deep shot. Well, the last thing he'd want to do is foul him um, going for the rebound. So it's a good move taking him off the line. Yeah. If he misses this one, Winton Woods has a chance to get it and chuck it. And they could potentially hit one to win here. Maybe throw it out to Stevens and have him shoot a half-court shot. Not sure what the discussion is here with the officials at the score table. He might be better to miss this three throwing away. Yeah, because the clock will start and make Wenton Woods have to do it. Yep. If he makes it, then they could do a long pass and maybe knock down a three. Yeah, because if he misses this, Wenton Woods gets a rebound. They basically are going to have to turn and chuck this thing. Yeah, it would be really tough. Anderson going to take their final time out here. Probably going to discuss strategy, see if a miss might make sense. Yeah, if he misses the, the three throw, it would almost take a miracle to, to tie it at that point. Yeah, you or kinda, win it. You kind of wonder if you're Anderson, what do you decide to do here? Yeah. Because, I mean, if you make it, it's a three-point game, but then you give it Woods time to inbound it and get down the floor a little bit and turn and chuck it. Yep. But if you miss it, the clock's going to run the minute somebody touches it, so they're basically going to have to catch, turn, and throw. Got to make sure you hit the rim, though, because if you miss the rim, then, it's, then yeah. you do get the ball. Yeah, so he's going to definitely have to make sure he at least hits something here. He can't airball this thing. That's the only hard part. You know, Wynn Woods pretty much did everything but win this game if they don't pull it out. I mean. Yeah, and you just you look back to that first quarter when they started off so sluggishly. If you take away that first quarter, Wynn yeah. Woods wins this game. Right. They just, and I mean, you are, I mean, when you've only played one game in the last basically month or so, you're going to have some rust. And Wynn Woods, it took them about a quarter to get that rust shaken off, and that yeah. may come back to bite them here in this game. It appears it's going to. We were joking about it, but I think that probably was the case. First 10 or 15 minutes, they were just yeah. getting acclimated. Yeah, that first that first quarter or so, they were struggling. But then after they got going, they've been lights out ever since. But unfortunately, it might have been a little too little too late. Well, as you said earlier, it looks like it's a bright future for Wynn Woods here. Young team Yeah, this next year. Yeah, number one, Jermaine Matthews Jr. This kid, you're gonna, folks, you're going to want to watch this kid over the next two years. This kid is going to be an absolute monster for Wynn Woods. He, he misses missed. it, and that is going to that will do, do it. it. And we have a stoppage here. The, Not sure what the happened. Clock, the clock, the clock never start. got going. The clock didn't start. They're going <laughs> to let the clock run out, though. <laughs> So, folks, that is going to do it. Another exciting game on Waycross Community Media. Anderson comes away with a 51-49 win. Disappointing for Wynn Woods, but a great contest. Yeah. For Ian Liddell, my name is Shane Coleman. Have a good night. Be safe, be healthy, take care of each other, and take care of yourselves. Good evening, folks. <laughs>